Hey there, I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation. It's a day on Habitat Hints. We're going to be talking about brush piles and how you put brush piles on ice and why we do that this time of year to prepare for the spring and so forth. I want to be joined here by Tori and we're going to chat a little bit more about that and why we do this and so much more. Let me turn this around and we'll chat with him. All right. Thanks, Tori. So, Tori, you here telling us about brush piles on ice. Why, why we have this cedar tree back there with cinder blocks on it? Yeah, well, in winters where we're fortunate to have uh, safe ice, usually up, you know, we're in the northern part of the state, so a lot of times, there, most winters, we have safe ice, and that's the most important thing is make sure the ice is safe before you venture out and try to do this. But when we do have good ice, um, mm -hmm. we drag trees, just as simple as that, drag trees out in proximity in the pond where we'd like to add habitat tie a cinder block to it and when as you can see this is starting to melt a little bit when that melts the cinder blocks will go to the, to the bottom anchor the tree in place right where you put it um, as you can see here this one's kind of close to shore so for two reasons you're going to add a fish attractor uh -huh. so a place where you can cast and you know where that is close to shore um, the other thing is is adding like habitat for fish help for recruitment of small fish give them a place to hide uh, things like that you could also venture out and put them out farther yeah for um, a fish attractor out in deeper water you know different times of the year but a lot of times we'll put them in maybe less than 10 feet of water for added like a fish attractor and to help with fish recruitment now is this something you do every year or how yeah. does this work we well if we have the opportunity to it's really easy you don't have to have a boat you don't you know it's as simple as having mussels and yeah a rope and a cinder block um, we like to use cedars because one they they're plentiful yeah <laughs> um, but any other hardwood would work uh, we we do use uh, locusts and hedge and that kind of thing you know we typically don't try to you know do oaks or anything like that but any other hardwood um, one thing I like to mention is a lot of people want to try to use Christmas trees and that's okay um, but usually Christmas trees maybe last a year and then they're one stick where these kind of trees the fish find them really fast they're very very beneficial there's a lot of interstitial places like where the fish can hide and uh -huh. the algae gets on it and the minnows like it it's just a it's a good good way to put habitat in your pond very easily all right and where can people learn more about this can they get on our website and learn more about how to do something like this yeah absolutely and if not they can always contact their private lands conservationist on our website yep or any other fish biologist um, yeah awesome awesome well I really appreciate it Tori thank you very much and thank you all for turning it tuning in today